Hey there guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me review a fragrance I wanted to review for quite some time. There's a lot of hype on this fragrance, okay? Especially Middle Eastern countries and India, Bangladesh, subcontinent, Pakistan as well. So I hope all your brothers and sisters are doing good. And I'm, I don't know why that naturally when I review Middle Eastern style fragrances that holy Middle Eastern spirit just gets into me. You know, I feel like let's be religious. Let's be more nice, you know, let's be nice person today. <laughs> just kidding, okay? So I have it on pre-spread on the paper. And this is big thanks to Nadir Bhai. This is 100 ml EDP concentration. Nadir Bhai is basically owner of Arabian Shelf page. And I borrowed this from you. I did not buy this. I did not get it as a gift. Okay, I always declare, you know, before I review. And this basically is a house called Arabiat, which is uh, under my perfumes. They have quite a few fragrances, just like, you know, Prestige. Uh, what Armaf has, are they, under, they are under what? So this is kind of like a parent company. Uh, okay, under that they have quite other perfumes, okay? Uda Lyle is one of them. Uh, this is, let me show you the box. Presentation is very beautiful. And this is a very inexpensive fragrance. Okay, I heard it's about $25 or less. There's a sticker. There's a box. EDP, 100 ml. Really nice. Looks really beautiful. Looks really, really nice. Side, got this wooden kind of textures, but it's actually a paper. But I like this effort, you know. It's woody, right? Bottom, they have the date, you know. They have the other information when it's released. The back, okay there you go uh, i really like this one for the price the you know the presentation is beautiful and especially the bottle okay let me show you the bottle okay the bottle here i saw it uh, in bangladesh people are using it and some people are selling i wanted to buy it but i didn't want to blind buy a wood fragrance this is a stunning bottle okay uh, just forget about the price tag take a moment and appreciate the bottle look at the design at the back it reminds me a little bit of uh, latafa ragba wood intense but that's a longer bottle but this one uh, features a nice wooden cap even though it's a fake wood i think yeah it's maybe a plastic or something but it feels very good quality sprayer is here not gonna spray it again the name of the perfume juice color is dark you can see juice color is dark okay so it's an opulent looking juice and it has it says arabia here and it's a little bit got design going on plain and then a little bit raised here so this perfume let me actually just do a spray even though this is strong, but I'm a reviewer, so I should show the sprayer. Okay, good, solid sprayer. How many sprays with this? Go one. Less is more. This one's going to fill up a room. Moment you spray this, you cannot miss it. This is a oud uh, for sure. There is no other play bigger than oud in this. But there are other surrounding players. But this is a oud uh, good for cold weathers or uh, religious affairs, going for praying at night. This is... Uh, going for you know even if you, if you wear this in going to temples it has a holy spirit of of the perfume okay it has a good soul uh, i feel let me talk about performance it's 10 oh i spray this and if you don't like this perfume make sure don't wear five six sprays uh, that way you basically killed your surroundings and you killed your um puppy <laughs> sorry if you have animals around you they may get sensitive to it because this one is pretty damn loud i think of black afghano in the original formulation very loud fragrance think of something animalic okay and this is an animalic fragrance this is bold 10 for performance all the way and, uh, projection longevity both when to wear it as i told you winter time would be perfect this one would develop naturally if snowing you should put it on the snow. You will see how beautiful it is. There are two sides of the story. If you wear this in cold weather, beautiful. Wear this in high heat, you dead. You dead. You dead. Right? <laughs> so it says Uda Lyle. Lyle, as far as I know, it's nights, right? So uh, it's a nighttime fragrance for sure. It's a holy fragrance, I was telling you. It has smokes. To my nose, It, even though it's a cheap fragrance, it has good uh, quality. Okay? For when you smell it it doesn't smell like a street side vendor uh, cheap synthetic wood this one feels like more of a premium rasa you would make around that 60 70 dollars range okay and uh, it's for up class events so definitely that is impressive okay uh, not just a cheap fragrance okay not just a cheap fragrance beautiful bottle and a beautiful fragrance as well uh, this one also welcomes you like wood set in mood of mfk and that one has a fruity vibe. I get something fruity in this. It's a fruity, floral, a little bit of a caramel sweetness like Ragba wood intense. And then the smokiness comes up. A little bit of a holy incense stick feel comes out. But not more smoky or not more spicy 
then more sweet this is more sweet then more smoky or more spicy so uh, nice perfume you know like uh, of course not daily driver you don't want to wear this for your work uh, but uh, in a winter day you know uh, let's say christmas time you can wear this uh, colder days you know like december in your country europe states um, you're going out meeting people this is going to be damn nice this is going to be beautiful for uh, those colder months colder it is better this fragrance you know highly recommend even if you pay 40 dollars for it absolute steal absolute steal okay big big props to this perfume and this house i'm very interested in i want to try the other fragrances but uh downside let's do some criticism this is a very uh tough one if you are fan of freshies versace purong dior sauvage you never wore any wood in your life this is gonna be uh, hitting you really hard you know i don't think i would recommend this for you perhaps you should go for dior intense or as you can see behind you prada Lom intense or prada amber intense those are more of your fresh dark perfumes this is a territory for people who are already in oud craving for more and they're looking to buy some solid fragrance for excellent budget this is for you and the criticism this is uh, there is if you wear this in clubbing and uh, they might like uh, yalla yalla this shack you know <laughs> he got into the wrong room <laughs> uh, what i mean by it like this fragrance doesn't fit like a lot of uh, events so it doesn't make it so versatile um it's not definitely good for for me i wouldn't wear this in a date i would not wear this in clubbing scenario of course i'm already old no point going to the clubs but i would not wear this in a bar perhaps a bar where they're smoking cigars you know like a bar lounge where there's jazz playing people are smoking cigars that time it has that sort of that ashy feel but it's not a tobacco fragrance so it will go perfectly with the booze strong liquor like a, like you know if you're drinking old whiskey scotch it will go perfectly with it so you get the scenario uh this perfume how i'm gonna rate it for the quality for the bottle just take a look at the bottle one just forget the box this bottle i ask you <laughs> as a watch uh, i mean viewer how much do you like this bottle tell me i mean is it just me i love this bottle for the bottle uh for the smell i would say this is impressive this is a fragrance for quality and for what you get value it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance but but wait do not blind buy this this is not a blind buy worthy fragrance if you like wood if you like dark fragrances if you like uh, to play with oud with different kind of uh, sweetness fruitiness and you like to smell discover be patient if you drink like uh, black coffee no sugar this fragrance is for you okay uh, intense intense sweetness in this one as well with that oud a little bit synthetic but very good very very beautiful fragrance so overall for me it's a 10 but this is not a uh, blind by word difference try before you buy thanks for watching uda lyle thank you very much nadir bhai for your generosity and it's a pleasure doing reviews for you hopefully uh, more reviews will come in upcoming days take care have a nice day bye, -bye.